Hey guys, did you hear about it? New York Times just reported that four more Nike executives are out amidst inquiry into harassment allegations. I think this is super important, especially as we start to see a lot of more sexual harassment come up to rise, people talking more about it. Um, relatively, guys, it hasn't totally been hit in terms of what's happening on the retail side of things. A lot of the um, Me Too and a lot of sexual harassment allegations have been made in entertainment, in other industries, technology, for example, but we haven't been really hearing so much around retail. Obviously, you guys remember um, back in the day when there was conversations around photographers um, and actually somewhat more recently, Recently, um, a lot of models and photographers um, have been outed in terms of scandals related to sexual harassment. And I really give a lot of props to the models out there who stood up and let their voices be heard um, in this type of environment, because it's really it's scary, right, to think of all these things that are happening in the retail and in the fashion and luxury space. Um, but guys, streetwear, that's been an area that we haven't really heard too much about, especially athletic uh, streetwear, sportswear really interested to see what happens here in terms of Nike and what kind of policies and procedures they put in action. They have a big team. It's global. A lot of people to manage. However, really important that employees feel safe and able to express to their human resources counterparts exactly what's happening in the workplace and in the office. Now, guys, small business owners, I know that it's Oftentimes, we don't think about what the implications are to our business. Sometimes we think that when we're in a small environment, we can be loose, we can get away with things, we don't have to be as uh, formal with people or don't have to watch, uh, watch what we say, but we do. And it's really in this day and age of being mindful, um, of really being respectful of one another and creating a collaborative and safe community for the people who you're working with. And guys, I think this goes not just with you know, male on female kind of sexual harassment. I think we can see within same genders. I don't think this has to be, um, you know, it's not just one way. Anyone and everyone can be affected by things like this. So PSA announcement, guys, please take a look at how you're running things internally. Um, cross your I's, dot your T's. You definitely don't want to come into any type of bad mouth or anyone who's talking ill of working for your company or any experience that they might have had. Certainly, if you're not a huge company, you probably don't have any sexual harassment training or anything like that. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure these things actually really need a revamp um, and need to be dealt with in a much more modern and, and better way, I would say, of, of handling sexual harassment within the workplace. But big news. Things are happening at Nike. Let's see what else happens in the sportswear and streetwear world. Um, good luck, guys, implementing great policies and procedures within your companies. Remember, company culture really starts with you. So the way you are, the way you manage people, the way you deal with things, it really all trickles down from the top. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.